described the problem journalistically well, but I want to know what to do about it as a citizen. And citizenship is so fundamentally and foundational mm -hmm. to your whole way of life. Mm -hmm. and what, would you, what do you say to those people? Say, Wendell, please tell me what I can do. All right. Well, you've put me in the place I'm always winding up in. And <laughs> that is to say, well, we've acknowledged that the problems are big. Now where's the big solution? The difficulty of the problem that we're in is that the problems are big, but there are no big solutions. A person who has the whole answer to the whole dilemma would be somebody to be very much feared because he or she would be wrong <laughs> almost inevitably. That problem is going to be solved in relationships between individual people and small parcels of land. The heart of it is to recognize that agriculture as we are now practicing it involves a highly destructive ratio between people and land. So the 50-year farm bill, yes, is a part of increasing the acreage of perennials proposals to get those animals out of confinement, quit feeding them corn, which is an annual crop with a high ecological cost, and put them back on the pastures. Do we have time given what agribusiness is doing? We don't have a right to ask that question. We don't, we don't have a right to ask whether we're going to succeed or not, or if we have time. The only question we have a right to ask is, <coughs> what's the right thing to do? What does this earth require of us? And if we go into it with the idea that it's a crash program and we're on a deadline, we'll mess it up, we'll screw it up. Uh, we have to ask, what's the right thing to do? We go ahead and do it, and take no thought for the morrow. So how? How do people from afar have the kind of affection for creatures and food that you do, the source of food that you do? Well, there's another tough problem. There isn't any answer uh, to that because you can't be affectionate by proxy. <laughs> you, can't, you can't send somebody, send somebody out on a mission to carry your affection to the hog you're going to eat. And so you have to look ahead a little bit. I don't like to talk about the future very much because it, it doesn't exist and we don't know anything about it. If we begin to farm better, we'll need more people. And diverse agriculture employs a lot more people than monoculture. Farming is hard work, but listen, it's low pay. There's nothing wrong with hard work if it's done for yourself and your neighbors. They're people who spend their whole day every